Day and to invite the people of our parish and community to come together to remember those from the 1916 rising. We've done an awful lot of work in the schools through novels, um, through music, through our English language scheme for the 1916 rising and I must say the knowledge that the children have would actually surprise some of us. The, for, we came up with the idea of coming over to the GPO for the significance of it because obviously on the, the start of the rising started outside the GPO in Dublin. This is our GPO and so therefore Johnny kindly obliged our presence here today um, so, and after the children from the senior end apologies, have read the proclamation we're going to head on back over to the school you're more than welcome to come with us we'd love to have you TJ is going to give a display of his Irish dancing and the children are going to play their tin whistle we're going to actually raise the flag that was delivered to the school which was delivered to every primary school in Ireland and we're going to raise the flag and the children had to write as part of the proclamation day they had to write their own proclamation welcome everybody to our school we hope you enjoy that day good girl well done well done I was from the announcement in the name of God and of the denomination from which she received her old traditional engagement and I'm sure someone's her to her to her flag and strength for her freedom. Having organised and trained her manhood through her secret revolutionary organisation, the Irish Republican Brotherhood, and through her open military organisations, the Irish Volunteers and the Irish Citizen Army have patiently perfected her discipline Having resolutely waited for the right moment to reveal itself, she now seizes that moment and supported by her exiled children in America and by gallant allies in Europe, but relying in the first on her own strength, she strikes in full confidence in victory. We the pupils of Lark and Pawn and Ness are very proud to be citizens of the Republic of Ireland and we are grateful to the, women, to the men and women of the 1916 Rising who fought and died for the freedom of our country. We strive to create a future that is better for everyone, regardless of religious beliefs, skin colour or social status. We believe that there should be better facilities in rural Ireland. Every child should have a local school to attend. There should be a local shop, church and post office in each parish. We should not have to travel to towns for basic services like these. We need good transport services in rural areas too, especially for those who cannot drive. Rural life can be very isolating for some without the government making it even harder. More money needs to be invested in recycling and caring for the environment. People should compost and recycle more, which would help cut down on waste going to landfill sites. The government needs to introduce uh, incentives to encourage people to recycle. It is so important we take care of our planet for the future generations. Everyone has the right to an education. Presently, third level education is very expensive and not everyone can afford to send their ch children to college or university. We at Dark and Pond NS believe all people should be given equal opportunity to get a third level education, which in turn will lead to a country with a highly skilled workforce. We declare that every citizen of the Emerald Isle has the right to an efficient health system. Pre presently, nurses are overworked waiting lists are too long and unfortunately those who can't afford to pay extra get seen first. Our government needs to continue working at creating a fairer, more efficient health system both for patients and workers. Also we need to continue to encourage healthy eating. We believe everyone should have a job, a reason to get up in the morning and go to bed at night. Everyone has a talent. All talents should be recognised. If you want to be a doctor, surgeon, vet, teacher, builder, artist, etc., you should be able to achieve your dreams, no matter how big they are. We in Lara Campan and S urge you to support local businesses. You can play your part in making Ireland a better place. 
In order to keep our community alive and vibrant, we need to shop locally and use local services. The community spirit in rural areas should not be underestimated. It is a trait that makes us unique and should never be lost. We believe it is very important to support charities both locally and overseas. It is our responsibility as citizens of Ireland to help those less fortunate, those without a roof over their heads, elderly people who do not have anyone to care for them, and those overseas who, have, who are victims of natural disasters or war. for the 1916 Rising and while it might I suppose be appropriate for all of us we can just think of all those people that gave their lives so we can have our freedom today. Well done. I think it will fall. When you don't give it the dirt it will definitely fall. That's it. You better put in a shovel a small bit of dirt into the stone.